Hey there, my name is Gerald DiMatteo and welcome to Shrink Wrapped, a show where we unbox things for your viewing pleasure. On this episode, we're checking out the Persona 4 Dancing All Night Crazy Value Pack. So here's the Persona 4 Dancing All Night Crazy Value Pack. Sugoi desu! Here we have one of those spine cards that Japan is so fond of. Let's take that out of there. Now what we're left with is a pretty cool cardboard slip case that isn't one of those like thin flimsy ones. This one is thick. You could really see that they put some care into developing this package. And it's got this really cool translucent disco thing going on. A lot of different colors in it. Very pink, some blues. Probably can't see it on the camera. I'm not exactly sure. But on the back you have the cardboard cut out and you can see teddies on the inside. And along the outside you can see all the different artists that are featured in the game, some of which are actually DLC, like Day Day Mouse, I'm pretty sure doesn't actually show up in the game until you get the DLC that's free. So let's just get the whole thing out of here and we'll look at the items one by one. First up, we have the pre-order bonus, the Persona 5 Confidential Blu-ray Disc. This isn't actually in the package. This comes separately, but I thought I'd show you guys. I would edit in a clip from the Blu-ray, but I believe Atlas has been pulling them down one by one to kind of keep it exclusive for the people that actually bought the collector's edition of the game. So you won't see that on there, but it's a nice little package. It's cool to have if you're a fan of collecting, you know, Persona merchandise and things like that. Now, the real reason to get your hands on this collector's edition, a two disc Persona 4 Dancing All Night original soundtrack. The music in Dancing All Night like the music in Persona 4 is absolutely incredible. The remixes are great. The Pursuing Your True Self Kazoko remix, I believe it's called, is absolutely incredible. Best version of the song. Uh, this is the teddy that you actually see on the back of the slipcase. So when you're looking in, you're actually seeing the front of the soundtrack. What's odd is they kind of cut corners a little bit. There's no art on the back where you can't see a track list or anything like that. I presume it's inside. But anyway, I know exactly what I'll be doing with the Persona 4 Dancing All Night soundtrack. Also inside you get a DLC card. It's a nice touch to put, you know, the same kind of gloss that you see on the front cover of the slipcase. But on this you get, I believe, two costumes if I translated it correctly, as well as a DLC song, Nevermore, which is the closing track to Persona 4. Uh, this is cool to have. Uh, free DLC, it's always nice. And lastly, Persona 4 Dancing All Night, the Vita cartridge. The game is inside, and this is not something you see every day, an actual instruction manual, or well, a piece of paper. I don't think this is an instruction manual. I'm a liar, this is an instruction manual. I'm a big fat liar. But yeah, that's nice to have. I, I, don't, I wonder if the US version will have that. If you wanna see the back of the box, it's a bunch of hiragana, katakana, and kanji that I, I can't translate. But overall, it's, it's a nice package. The box art will be the same for the US version of the game, which comes out, I believe, September 29th. So, although the Crazy Value Pack is uh, a nice package, I would probably wait for the US release, which is sure to have more things, well, confirmed to have more stuff inside at pretty much the same price. So that does it for the Persona 4 Dancing All Night unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, subscribe. Until next time.